Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, this is pretty unique. We have never done this before. This is a totally new angle here at Recordology, here in the office slash music room. Soak it in, there's so much to see, so much detail. But today I thought it'd be really fun just to look at the top 10 most bizarre, weirdest, crazy turntables that make absolutely no sense. So in no particular order, we're just gonna kind of go through these together. And I would love to get your feedback. Tell me what you think. If you know of any crazier ones, or if you think these are practical and I'm just, you know, off my rocker, which is entirely possible. But let's get into it and see exactly what kind of crazy turntables I've found. You're not gonna wanna miss this. <music> Welcome to Recordology. Okay, guys, so let's start out. Okay, so to begin with, we have this absolutely nutty looking thing here from Retrospect. This is the HYM Originals Duo Black Turntable. It's $500, and when I see a price like that, the first thing my eye does is go straight to the cartridge. <laughs> like, what do we have here? And sure enough, we have what looks to be an Audio-Technica 3600L cartridge. And while that is a fine and very decent, although the cheap, second to cheapest magnetic cartridge you can get, it is a $12 cartridge. So for $500, literally the most important part is a $12 part. So you would think for that kind of money, we might be able to perhaps have a Ortofan OM, you know, 5E or, you know, a 2M blue or red. Um, this is just bizarre. It seems unnecessarily different. What's interesting to me is this goes on to say all about how it's practical for being portable and uh, take it to a friend's house. And to me, it just seems very extra and bizarre all the way down to this clamp thing that screws on to the spindle. Just bizarre, very, very, very bizarre. So we're gonna start with that, very strange. Moving on, next we have this thing. This is not the only vertical turntable on our list, but I've seen this thing pop up a few times as I've been doing research for what might be cool show ideas. And this is the Easy Go Products, all one word, Vertical Bluetooth turntable, three-speed record player, auto stop, free amplified, triple belt, built-in speakers, headphone jack input, and RCA output white. <laughs> that is the product name, that entire thing. It's like, let's cram everything together into one jumbled phrase. This is $129. Um, some of the features, unique design. That's true. Uh, Bluetooth and aux plugs mounting. The, the, some of the pictures on the left show this thing uh, position. <laughs> like hung on the wall. I don't get it. And actually, I don't even like, you know, televisions that are mounted to the wall. I always like mine on a TV stand, on a piece of furniture. The idea of walking up to a wall and just staring at a television, not appealing. Same thing for a record player. It's like, why? You know what I mean? Like, why do it this way? It seems so unnecessary. Um, I imagine this is a hollow box. Uh, there's probably not much to it. With any kind of vertical turntable uh, that I've seen so far, it seems like they're using, um, except for the exception, there was one that Techmon reviewed, of course, that was like a Kickstarter, and I think that, that one was pretty decent. But a lot of these use uh, ceramic cartridges, which track heavy to begin with, but they have to clamp the thing on. I mean, it has to... <laughs> I can't imagine it tracks lightly, and how would you measure it? So I thought that that was a, a wee bit bizarre. Okay, marching on. Um, now, when this first came to mind, this is one of the first ones that popped into my head, and perhaps you as well. This is the Maglev Audio um, turntable that features a hovering platter. The platter is not attached to the best of my, I think Unbox Therapy did a show on this. To the best of my knowledge, it completely floats by the use of magnets. And the idea is to completely isolate the platter and the record from the motor. Now you've seen all these crazy VPI turntables that have like, you know, like a giant motor over here and then it's separated and, you know, belts, you know, versus direct drive to isolate motor rumble, et cetera, et cetera. These guys are like, you know what, let's just uncouple the whole thing and have it float, literally. From what I've seen though, it kind of wobbles. So I don't know if we're really, 
uh, able to maintain any sort of stability there. That being said, this thing goes for over 2,000 pounds, so it's not a cheap, cheap thing. On their website, I noticed, I think they resell Riga uh, turntables. Maybe it's even the same company. I don't know. They have a bunch of Riga, like, regular turntables, and they have, like, three or four of these uh, levitating turntables, and they're all sold out. So either, you know, they were uh, a big hit and everybody wants one, or it's a flop and they're not buying anymore. I have no idea, but that has to, that's bizarre. That is bizarre. There's a lot of people that focus on different things when it comes to turntables because, they, it's very individualized. The whole hobby is very individualized. So some people, it seems, want to focus on platter rumble. Some people want to focus on cartridges or you know clean power and stuff like that. There are people that only play their records at night because the power is cleaner. To the, my level of listening, I just haven't experienced that as an issue. So platter rumble is so minimal of an issue to spend 2,000 pounds on it seems excessive. Okay, going on to this. This is the Project VTER featuring an OM5E cartridge, red vertical turntable in a matte red finish. And now this looks cool. This is striking. It's a belt drive turntable. They have a better cartridge. So this one actually goes against what I said earlier. When I initially added this, I didn't realize it was vertical. So here you go. You've got a magnetic cartridge and a decent one. This is the OM5E. It was the baseline Ortofon cartridge. Now I think there's one that's even cheaper. But this is a good starting point um, elliptical cartridge. And obviously Project has done some really good stuff, least of which uh, has been their you know workings with Crosley with the C10 and C20, which are both fantastic turntables. But this is bizarre. I mean, it's just an eye-catching, bizarre thing now. Is it necessary? You know what I mean? Is a vertical turn... What are the benefits besides, hey, I'm spinning a record vertical? Is it really... I mean, I can, the first thing people will say is, well, it saves so much space. Are you really doing it for that? I mean, come on. I don't know. You tell me. But that, that that's definitely an eye catcher there. Uh, speaking of Crosley, this is their C3. This is a two-speed belt drive turntable. And obviously the weird factor here is the plinth is funky weird. It sort of goes for that, you know, premium turntable vibe with, you know, the motors over here and then the tone arms over there. But really what's really different about it, it's just a, a plinth made out of MDF, which is good. That's an upgrade from plastic. It's basically uh, fiberboard, you know, particles sort of glued together plywood pieces with a veneer over it uh, in a weird shape. Now, MDF is, even though it is just particle board material, it's, it's a good plinth material. It's the resonance qualities are sought after. So uh, one of the uh, turntable companies I've been working with over the years has making a move into the MDF space when it comes to their plinths, plinths because um, they are better and they're not too terribly expensive, although more so than plastic. So this thing is just bizarre. We've never reviewed it. Some people really like this thing. It's got a baseline 3600L cartridge. I think it looks cool. It doesn't really save space or anything. It just kind of looks cool. There's less plinth in a, than a regular turntable, so maybe less is better. I don't know. Less is more kind of a thing. Um, I think this one may be on back stock as well. There's no price on Amazon, although up here it says 88 89 I'm not sure if it's been discontinued or what. I think it's been discontinued. Um, a lot of the times you see stuff that looks like it's sold out or discontinued by looking at Amazon just means they're on massive parts back order, which is impacting the turntable industry as a whole right now in a big, big way. This thing I have seen multiple times. This is the, here we go. Got to get deep breath for this one. Turntable record player with horn speaker for the 33 forward slash 45 RPM records, mini gramophone supporting Bluetooth playback blue. And <laughs> this is by the vinyl music on store. And, um, yeah, so this thing looks like it weighs about an ounce, if that. It just looks like the plastic materials are very small. It's like they decided to take like a Soundburger profile uh, base and then, you know what, let's go ahead and add a uh, giant plastic horn to it as well. Now let's look at the features. It is classic yet fashionable. <laughs> a detachable, because that's helpful, 360 degree rotatable, rotatable, is that a word? Horn meets your sound requirements in different directions. I have a sound requirement that this horn rotate. I can't turn the whole thing, even though it weighs half an ounce. I need the horn to rotate independently to uh, satisfy my sound requirements. So that's good. 
Um, the live feeling vinyl sound, which comes from the built-in speaker via full range horn. Not to be confused with those limited range, mid-range horns, low range horn. This is a full range horn. It's just a piece of plastic, you guys, with a tiny little speaker down there in the bass. 69 bucks. It's a novelty for sure, but I I, I have toyed with the idea. What if on this one? You'll have to let me know if you have this. Okay, now. Of all the vertical turntables, even more so than the Riga, this one catches my eye, probably because of the colorful record they put on there. So the marketing is working. But this is the Fuse Vert vertical vinyl record player with Bluetooth, AFM, FM radio, alarm. That's a practical alarm clock. Handcrafted ash tree wood. It just looks kind of cool. Unfortunately, it looks like it uses a ceramic cartridge again. So that's going to clamp onto your record. And I don't even know what kind of, you know, downforce is going to be you know exerted on your records but it does look cool handcrafted ash tree wood and an alarm clock that's just so bizarre diamond needle cartridge sometimes i feel like this stuff is you know written by people who have no idea about record players whatsoever all right moving along we have now this one at first may not seem that bizarre and really you have to flip through all of their marketing pictures to get a sense of what i'm talking about here First of all, and again, hard to tell in this small picture here, but um, that record isn't real. That is a, a graphic. It's like they put the platter, the the needle onto the the uh, platter with no record. They're like, wait a minute, there should be a record there. So rather than take the picture again, they you know put a you know a, a CG record in place, which says disco music. Why not? Um, that's really the weirdest thing. And the fact that their obvious use of uh, Photoshop cracks me up. And it's become very common, you guys. These things that are not even in proportion. You'll see like um, these gigantic Walkmans in people's hands that have been, it's just like, they're just, you know, go, coming up with stock photos and CGing stuff on there. This is the U Dreamer vinyl record player with speakers, turntable, Bluetooth, four vinyl records, vintage USB LP player. So if you want to play your LPs, this will do it. Uh, specifically, if you want to play your USB LPs, 55 bucks, 55 bucks. Moving on. Now, this one is probably the least weird, but it is still weird to me. And why is it weird? It's all about the dust cover. This is a Denon DP450 USB. I've not reviewed uh, this product. It's probably fine. It looks good. It better be for nearly 700 bucks. Although, is that another AT3600L? 700 bucks for a $14 cartridge. Um, that seems bizarre to me. But the dust cover, look at the dust cover. It's so impractical. At first, it looks like it hinges down and that that curled part sticks out the front. And now it finally occurred to me that no, the curl part goes over the tone arm, but there's a hole on this for the spindle. So apparently this part lays flat and this goes over the tone arm. It's so unnecessary. Why not just cover the whole thing? Dust is going to get in there. That's ridiculous. Just get a regular dust cover. Okay? Okay. And finally, the most, and I'm not joking about this, the most expensive record player on Amazon. That's right. It, this is the brand, okay? H-Y-Z-Q-H-J-Y. <laughs> That's the brand. Oh, there's nothing, you know, Riga's great and all, but when it comes to quality, I always look for H-W-Z-Q-H-J-Y. <laughs> That's the brand. And uh, this is it. The most expensive, not, almost $20,000 for this uh, wooden, and they go into all the thing about the ornamentation. It's, you know, probably cost them 30 bucks to make. The margin must be incredible. I doubt they've sold one. I doubt they've ever, it may not exist. Some of this stuff, these are like renderings that they'll send and then like they'll make it if somebody actually orders it. Um, but this costs as much as a car and I want to draw attention to the fact that it has a Chuo Denshi clone ceramic cartridge uh, coming in at a value of about three cents. Uh, you can't see it in these pictures that well. Again, I'll have links to all this stuff down below if you <laughs> you want to take a look for yourself or if you want to take one for the team and buy one and let us know how it turned out. But this just cracks me up, you guys. So these are some of the weirdest record players I have ever seen. I'm sure there's more out there. Hopefully they will continue to make some. I think the weirdest record player I ever actually played with was the slot in player from MPK, which I still have. 
It's actually right down here. I like it. It's cool. I like it. It's unique. And now that it doesn't damage records, it's even better. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this show. A big shout out to new members of the Vinyl Nation. Hope you enjoyed the recent show this last Friday. Got another one coming up in two days. And I just am really enjoying this community that we're building up. A community within a community. And to each and every one of you, thank you so much for being along for the journey. If you want to learn more about joining the Vinyl Nation, get an extra show every week, and a bunch of other cool features, check out the link in the description below. But that's going to do it for now, guys. Happy record hunting. We'll see you next time.